But first tonight, pension settlement rejected. Union members vote down a proposed deal that could have ended the legal battle over Rhode Island's controversial pension overhaul. The story was first breaking on Eyewitness News at noon, and it's the latest major development in the saga we've been tracking for years. One that could impact generations of people who live and work in Rhode Island. And back in November of 2011, Governor Lincoln Chafee signed landmark legislation into law enacting dramatic pension reforms crafted by himself and Treasurer Gina Raimondo. The changes were aimed at slashing billions in unfunded pension liability by trimming retirement benefits for workers and retirees. In June of 2012, a coalition of unions filed a lawsuit challenging the pension overhaul. Months later, a judge would order both sides to sit down and try to negotiate a solution. An apparent breakthrough came this past February when a proposed settlement was announced that would have ended the lawsuit and lessened the pension reforms. But today, one of the six groups that needed to approve the deal instead turned it down. Our in-depth coverage begins tonight with Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell, who has reaction from both sides. Yeah, many agree today's development was a surprise. Billions of taxpayer dollars are at stake, as well as the retirements of tens of thousands of current and former Rhode Island workers. A potential pension settlement has stalled and court-ordered mediation has resumed. We were there as attorneys representing both sides walked together into the Department of Administration building this afternoon. Uh, I'm not able to speculate on what may be part of those conversations. A majority of union members voted to accept the settlement, which would put an end to the legal challenge of the pension overhaul that was enacted in 2011. But 61 percent of eligible voters in the police union voted against it. Under the original terms of the deal, the settlement process is supposed to end if any of the six subgroups rejected the settlement. That means 254 members of the police union who voted against the settlement made a decision on behalf of nearly 24,000 people. That group representing uh, approximately 2% of the overall impacted universe, uh, I think based on that is, is part of the reason why the judge asked the sides to continue to uh, uh, participate in mediation. Governor Lincoln Chafee's office and General Treasurer Gina Raimondo's office released a joint statement saying in part, for over a year the governor and treasurer participated in good faith in court-ordered mediation leading up to the February 14th settlement agreement. The state will continue to participate in this court-ordered mediation. We also reached out to House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello, who told us this continues to be a very unusual process and I do not know what to expect moving forward. Both sides have been ordered to report back to the judge next Monday. The trial date is still set for September 15th. Now coming up new at six, what our political analyst has to say about what this could mean for the governor's race. Live with the mobile newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. More details now on the controversial pension overhaul. Back in February, we took the pulse of Rhode Island voters in an exclusive Eyewitness News Providence Journal campaign 2014 poll. We wanted to get their take on the landmark pension reforms and how they could impact the upcoming Democratic gubernatorial primary. As you can see, 46% of likely Democratic primary voters said they supported the changes, 28% opposed the overhaul, and 27% said they were not sure. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing in-depth coverage of the pension settlement rejection. New at 6, we'll take a closer look at where the case goes from here. Now you can also find extended coverage on WPRI.com, including answers to common questions about the pension overhaul and how it affects you.